Hey guys, how is it going? It is Faker coming at you once again. I've got a pretty cool deck to share with you guys today. A deck from uh, Castman. I saw him post it up on Twitter. We're going to call it the Shuriman Burbles. It's got some burble fishes. Uh, basically, just a Bilgewater and Shurima deck using Fizz and Action. Doing a lot of the classic burble stuff with some new and fun tools. Obviously, playing Action is pretty dope. And hey, the deck wasn't actually that bad. Now, I did get, some, I did get a few more losses than I would have liked. And I definitely wasn't positive on the win rate at first but after I got a little bit comfortable with the deck I got a couple of pretty good wins which I'm going to showcase here today and uh, just really showing that sometimes you can play a lot of different decks like this meta right now is allowing you to play so much variation which I think can be really enjoyable for some maybe less enjoyable for others but if you're looking to play some fizz action bilge water burble fishes uh deck list deck codes in the description below shout outs to Carsman. uh very cool deck I'm definitely going to play some more of this in the future I think I might be able to go positive with the deck. Have a great day. See you soon. Leave a like for burbles. I don't think we keep Feral Prescience if we don't have Fizz. Like, this could be a Fizz instead. I might keep Shapestone with Akshan though. Fantastic. To know good from bad. I do not need rules to tell good from bad. Me, this is very true. Pretty sure we're going to play Preservarium next turn. Uh, we'll just Presence now. There might be a better draw to find. Skip. Akshan is such a cool design champ, one of my favorites for sure. So fun. I'm glad you're enjoying it, man. That's a good draw. We love it That's a sus run. card. Do I ever... I'm never going to put double shaped into my Akshan. We just let Akshan die here. I must be known. Goodbye, Akshan. We'll get our legs in. Ripperinio, Action Dino. You did justice. You did justice. I can go for a zap. Pushing four damage. I can go for a profiteer. So that way I don't have to pre-commit a spell to Fizz. Perhaps this is just a little bit more efficient. These are from far across the soul flats. Uh, okay, let's have a good one, buddy. Take care, buddy. Hog champ. Gonna find a gift for an actin. Okay. Right, That's a little bit sus. <laughs> okay, what one's the most relevant here? Looks like spell shield is the most relevant. Coming in. And uh swinging here actually helps to play around action a little bit. Because Oh, sorry, Viego, sorry. Because obviously he wants to be not having his units die. So he can do them all on Viego. So oh, this is absolutely come on, fine. Come on. I think this is like one of the ways this to play to around fight. Viego. It's just to kill the units off. That trade always makes sense anyway. Obviously it could trade off Viego next turn. So maybe I'm overthinking it. But... Uh, I'm having like... Vietnam flashbacks to what happened in our previous one against Viego, against Anita. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna zap here. Hey Zap! Need a hand? Can't say no to Fizz. Wrap him up tight. Swift Clutch. Is this a homebrew? Looks cool. It is a homebrew, but it's not mine. It's Carsman's. We play in bilge rules, son. Why Zap? Pool Shark would have traded better. 
He was always pulling it with Merciless Hunter. I guess Pool Shark would have traded into the 4 1 effectively. I wanted to see what I was drawing. I don't know. My bad. Maybe there was a way to like not tank for damage there just by playing Pool Shark first. That's understandable. For sure. Let's uh, predict then draw one. Or we can go for allies buff. There might be a way to like do this. You know real value when you see it, my friend. There might be a way to do this. Where we get like the we play the shape stones, the purple fishes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm seeing it. Uh plus two. We definitely want to go for an aggressive play this turn. Shape. Shape. Verbal. So now we're putting him on like Withering Whale and like Vile Feast and stuff. Uh, Burble. Uh, allies plus damage. And we're swinging in. Let's do this. Hello. Big damage, boys. Big damage. Nice one. See, that's how I thought the game was going to play out against the Nader. But then his Viego flipped, and that was very spooky. What does the other list look like? If you don't mind me asking. Was it more, more uh, greedy? We were more spell heavy. Fantastic. I'm, I'm believing we're going to get a win here. I think we're going to get a win. Nothing but dubs. We'll play into the ice shard here, unfortunately. I don't need rules to know good from bad. This is gonna be fun. I do think we need to influence our draws. Maybe not. Actually, no, no, no. We'll save this for like. Actually, there's no card that this All interacts with. I can't do much against Ice Shard. I'm actually going to choose to buff the Fizz. Fizz is going to carry this game harder than Akshan is. If I can get like plus HP here, that would be fantastic. Plus one, plus one does work. Now, if we can, if we can get enough spells, we can stop Fizz from dying to a uh, Avalanche. That would be good. Um, I think we're skipping this one. Tide's coming in. Did you build this deck? Unfortunately not. I was just thinking, what happened to Fizz Twist of Fate at the evolution? Um, I don't think anything specifically happened to Fizz Twist of Fate. Just meta environments shift, decks become less stronger and sometimes stronger. So we're looking for a turn, turn six kill. So coming back into our following turn. <clears throat> it's going to be all elusive. It's going to be the all elusive deck. Hey, what's happening? Is he going to double? Okay. I also do need his Lissandra not to flip. Okay. We could probably still get through this. Deep is actually good again. I know. I played Viego, got ruined by Deep. You will do as I command. So we need a chump blocker here. If it looks valuable, it probably is, eh? Oh, got him now. Winnable copium, I know. The Lissandra's a bit sus. Uh, the Lissandra is a little bit sus. Ha, oh, help me. Dude, spell shield on Fizz? I guess it might play around double ice shard. It's honestly more useful than these two garbage ones. Yep, 
Yep, can't do much with that. I could use it to flip fizz. And make Bebblefish zero mana, I guess. These all died a list spell. No, we have um, we have absolvers. It's all good. We have absolvers. It's chill. Embrace the cold. Why does he have to have Flip Lissandra too? Like, come on. This is very sus. Okay, surely we don't lose to a kindred deck with this. This looks pretty cool. Uh, um, I'll keep the treasure seeker. Quick hands make quick work. I don't think there's any reason to play Fizz turn one here. I would have got killed to go hard, right? And that would have felt terrible. And then again, he might not have gone for it, but if we had if we had have had Feral Prescience, that would have been hilarious. Them good. Scores to settle, crooks to kill. You know how it is. This, um, so this is fine. We'll skip this block. I can um I can play around, make it rain now, which is pretty cool. Yep, yep, yep. I can play around, make it rain. If I kill you, I don't fortune, stupid. Okay. Looks like we don't need to play around make it uh, make it rain anymore. So we can do this. Are we buffing Fizz? Or are we buffing Akshan? I think we're just buffing Fizz. Plus two. There we go. Fearsome would have been acceptable too here to play around Zap Sprayfin. In and out. Should be four damage. Oh, we have the godlike opener. Oh, you have got to be kidding me, bro. Wait, was there was a tough? There was. Honestly, I didn't think my opponent would. I didn't play around the go hard. He played that off the top of the deck too. A little bit unfortunate. Honestly, it's, it's not Just too bad. The right price. Suppose you want in on this. Oh, suppose I should leave you be. Like I honestly didn't realize. Yeah. <laughs> very, very cool. Is he a kindred? Time to swindle some nice merchants, huh, Karima? If they were nice, they wouldn't get swindled.
Villains beware. Steady now. You got legs. Use them. Didn't know the boss had sent for ye. Don't know much, do ya? Talk is worthless. We are what we do. All right. Yo, Yoda. By the way, uh, infinite Katarina combo. It seems like action just wants to make everyone do something infinite not worth my time got a lizard and a shovel is he looking for a plunder trigger here the swing seems kind of just like really send I'm gonna hold on to the right here <clears throat> the right might be low key. A game. Go on then. Never lost a fair game or played one. Why not? He's got two cards left in hand. He did get he did draw two though. That's a little bit spooky. This is justice. So how many damages can I make action do? I can make action do plus six. Eleven. Eleven plus one. Four. Make him do 14 damage here. 14 damage is not lethal. Gotta go with the flow. We're not going to drag the keg here. Wait a minute. <laughs> we laugh at death. Ha! You missed lethal? I forgot about... No, wait. How did I miss lethal? Pretty sure I calculated it all. The max I'd push is 14. Uh, but then we have this as well. True. We did miss lethal. I forgot about the Warlord's Horde. Yeah, yeah. We had lethal. Warlord's Horde would have helped us to get there. No, like the when I calculated it, so Akshan was a three. He has the lucky find buff, making him five. I could have played three plus twos, so five plus six is eleven, and then Shapestone is fourteen. So I I didn't think I had lethal because I wasn't counting uh, what I could have got from this as well. Obviously with the shield of the sentinels it would have been lethal actually. So yeah, we actually did have lethal that turn. Yeah, should be a misplay. Opponent wouldn't have, wouldn't have been able to interact with it. 
It should have been definitely a win. Now this game's heating up. If it looks valuable, it probably is, eh? Eyes open. People don't look the other way. You know real value when you see it, my friend. All right, so this is fantastic. We can play around, um, we can play around the gold card next turn. Do I have enough? I should have enough damage. I'm like spreading. I'm like basically spreading my pumps. You can thank me later. He needs to play two spells from in hand to get the gold card. We might not quite have enough. I wasn't expecting Grasp of the Undying to appear on the stack. That's going to be a significant amount of healing that we can't afford to play around. Surely there's no one mana spell. There shouldn't be a one mana spell here. Nice. Big fat. Big fat win. We missed lethal earlier, so a bit weird champ. But yeah, we got it. We got it done. We finally got a win with the amazing. GG, thanks. Yo, what's up, Lashen? How are you? Do you, do you think that the infinite decks are top tier? Absolutely.